Today, we're fixing this. We got the car pulled out of the garage today and it's got one we had to unbury it we're busy burying this one so we can unbury it in a will it run video because that's how that works i figured uh if i'm gonna have fun with a fake will it run video i might as well bury a car so i can unbury it and reveal it to the world but let's look at the torino the torino has had one serious problem since i've had it it's been in the steering column the column is a little loose and it has a tendency to catch um, just barely but uh, it'll give you a little bit of a let's uh, fire it up here you know it works fine right now but uh, oh yeah and we'll solve one problem I put the steering wheel on upside down but see it's all uh, oh wait a minute uh, yep turn that off uh, see how it's loose here and it kind of wobbles there so sometimes the wheel lock will catch when you're going around corners and that will bring on a lot of consternation uh, when you end up doing a complete uh, 360 in an intersection makes everybody around you nervous too and the people in your car well they don't enjoy it either so we're going to fix that. So the first thing we got to do is remove the steering wheel. On the back side, you got this little screw here and one just like it on the passenger side. Uh, there it is. It's not the original one, but that's just kind of how it happened. The steering wheel didn't have this center cover in it when I got it. So this is, uh, I, I, I put this, a lot of this car together. So let's get this cover off and I'll show you the inside here. Now, once you get that off, you'll see you got your little plug-ins for your horn here, which for some reason my horn doesn't work, but why would it? And then we got this bolt here, so we have to pull that bolt off, and then we got to pull the steering wheel off. Now, I tried to uh, make this tight a while back by tightening this up, so, but we'll... Uh, Take it off, take a look, and I'll show you what I'm dealing with. Now I have the original column up here, and I'll show you why I'm not going to put it in today. This is the shaft, and uh, this is what's loose. I think it just needs to be tightened up, but I don't have the uh, ignition switch or any of that. This is the piece right here that's causing me so much trouble. Um, I would like to put this column back in, but I'm not going to just yet. Not until I get all the right pieces to rebuild it properly. So, uh, well, we'll get that done, but let's see if we can get this fixed first. So after a lot of searching in the garage for the one tool I don't have, I found something that might work. So it turns out this is a 15 16th, so uh, I need to get the longer extension. Okay, so we got this all on here. We'll give this a turn. Oh. Now this bolt come off all right. It's easier with an impact, but I didn't feel, as long as it took me to find the 15 16ths, I didn't feel like I wanted to search for an adapter. So, uh, we get this off, and we'll see if the steering wheel comes off now, or do I have to, I've got to get the puller. So, I'll get the steering wheel pulled, wait a minute. Sometimes you can muscle them off. Not in this case, so I guess I'll get the puller. From what it looks like, is it goes, it tucks inside this and uses the collar as a guide. It is not doing that. It's going outside the collar. Let's get the steering wheel off and just check just in case. So I found the puller. I got the uh, bolts hooked up. And uh, basically, you got to thread them in and make sure they thread in and out safely. And you got to put this on here like that, and got to screw this back out. But then, 
just work it out with a an adjustable wrench all right so you just basically snug these up you don't have to kill them just get them a few threads in uh, you have to be proficient with a crescent wrench apparently so just snug them in a little bit here like that then just by hand make sure they're even by hand just uh, screw this down till it's right on the top then we'll we will more or less just start turning this till it pulls the steering wheel out so uh, there it goes it, it just pops so it's out so we got it off let me show you what's on the inside now, full disclosure, this steering column is a tilt column, and it came out of a 1976 uh, Ranchero. That's what the guy told me. I probably could, this would probably do to be tightened up a little bit. I can see the screws. But this is the problem right here. This little piece right here, it keeps catching on the back side of the wheel right here. It's catching into these. Interesting thing, though. You can see where it's been riding, right here. So, we need to look at the bottom of the wheel here. That looks all looks fine. And then we can address this, get that all fixed up. And truthfully, I think if we tighten this up and put the wheel back in where it's supposed to be, I'll bet you we don't have a problem. Now, I did tighten this up just now. It's all really tight. There's a screw back there, and there's one under here, and chances are there's probably one hidden under here. I'm not going to take all of this apart. So what I'm going to do now is probably uh, maybe put a little bit of grease on that, clean it up in here. You can see where it's been riding. In fact, that screw's completely worn out. So let's go ahead, get the wheel ready to go on. We're going to go clean out in here. We're going to get this wheel prepped to get put back on. And uh, then we'll put it on correctly because it was upside down. But then we'll seat it the way it's properly supposed to be. And hopefully that fixes the problem. Now I did something very foolish just now. When I took the wheel off, I didn't mark it. So I'm not sure where it is. I think we got it right back in the same spot. It's probably maybe one notch off. Actually, I know it is because I was level with that. So let's move it one notch there. And then we'll get it all seated in properly. And then we'll get it seated in where it's supposed to be. And we'll uh, put it back together and then we'll take it for a drive. Yep. So what I'm going to do here is just put this socket over here and just see if I could seat it. And uh, we'll get it seated in here as tight as we can. Whoops. Still, the whole column's loose, really. I, I need to get the other one built. But, so yeah, we'll just uh, seat it in. If you can't get it, I mean, look, not all of us are swimming in proper hammers and tools. So even if you got to do something like this with a framing hammer, just make sure it's seated in. That's actually seated in nicer than it ever has been. And we will, uh, yeah, yeah. Doggone it, I put it on upside down again. I guess that's the way it's going to stay. Um, so... And then we'll drive it home. Ooh, it's a little stiff. Well, it's gonna be a little stiff because, well, it hasn't been this way in a long time. So, we'll get it all uh, put back together, take it for a drive, and then we'll see how she, how she works, so. Let me get this put together and then we'll go and just like that 
she's back together. Didn't take very long, really. So now, let's go ahead and uh, pick up all these tools, put things back in their proper place, because, well, yeah. And uh, let's take this thing, let's run through a couple of tests before we hit the street, and let's take this thing on a test drive. So, we have our first problem here. Maybe the wheels... This is what happens when you... Uh, this isn't the wheel that was on the car when I got it. So, this is what it was doing. So, I guess we didn't fix the problem. We get to tear it apart again. Alright, y'all are free to call me an idiot right now. I figured it out. The little wore out screw... When I tightened it up, it broke off right here. And so this is, uh, this will stay where it needs to be, but it was allowing it all to rub. So mystery is solved. So I think it's missing a collar right here. It's missing something. I need to look. This is what happens when you cobble several different cars together. Well, we got it out. Uh, there's the busted part here. Just basically, it was real loose. Took a pair of tweezers and a dental pick, and it screwed right out. Now, hindsight being what it is, it should have been very evident that this is what was rubbing. But if you look on here, it's rubbing everywhere. So, it was kind of trial by error so let me see if i can find another screw for this and then we're gonna uh get this thing put back together so now we got it out we got a new screw in and uh i'll show you exactly what the problem was the whole time when the guy cobbled this column together whoops when the, the screw was too long he had it tight but it was sticking out too far See how it's below everything now? So that's what the problem was. This screw was actually sticking out about, oh, maybe just an eighth of an inch further than it should have. Now we can put the steering column back together and try this again. So, hooray. So once more, let's fire this thing up and see what happens. Flawless, nothing rubs. Awesome. And I remember to put the steering wheel back the right way. All right, let's get it fired up and take it for a drive. in the wheel all the slop in the wheel now is part of the tilt which when I get the other steering column rebuilt I will put the original one back in I've never liked this tilt wheel for that reason um, but when you get parts like this and unfortunately this is a common thing especially when you're dealing with little cars is a lot of things tend to get cobbled together and it's just comes with the territory really so we're gonna drive this around a little bit make sure it's all good and now uh, get back to the house and we'll wrap this up well we're back and the car ran flawlessly but we got some other things going on here we got a little bit of a leak coming out of the breather here so that's going to have to be addressed like i said uh, the guy that built the engine did a great job he got it about 90 92 percent there and then just gave up halfway through i i don't know why uh but i also know that this thing is sat all winter so yeah so the car ran well but part of the problem with older cars is you're going to have things like this like i said especially when things are cobbled together 
that one little tiny screw that was too long that worked its way out uh, had very disastrous consequences on the road. I mean, it literally locked my steering column up. Uh, you know, I've been putting this car together a little bit at a time over about the last 10 years. And basically within the last year as I've really gotten back on it. But as you saw, little things like that are very important to be mindful of. So... You, these are things that you have to just, and if it starts clicking again, we're going to have to pull it all back apart. Now, as for taking it apart with the right tools, that was literally three and a half minutes. It took me longer to find the socket, literally, than it did for me to pull it pull it off. I mean, took the, so took the cover off, two screws, took the big nut off in the middle, one bolt, boom, steering wheel came right off. It was right there. But... We're, like I said, we're going to rebuild the original column here one of these days soon and get that in there because I've never liked that tilt column since the day. I've had trouble with that column since the day I bought the car. Um, this car was cobbled together uh, with a 76 Ranchero. The guy liked the big brakes and all this. That's why I can't put 14s on it because it's got the big Ranchero brakes uh, off a 460 Ranchero. It's got... They're like one size bigger. It's anyhow. But that being said, it's fixed. But like I said, a little tiny screw can cause you a lot of havoc. There's about four jokes there. Anyhow, so we're done with that for now. Uh, we're gonna button this up and go find some dinner. And uh, you know, it was just a fun video. Just show you how you can. Take it apart. It's really easy on these old cars. No airbags, no nothing. And just minutes we had it fixed. In fact, even getting that broken screw head out didn't take any time at all. So, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you got one of these old cars, it doesn't have to look great. It doesn't have to. Just get out, have fun, explore America. People are like, why would you drive your car across country? I was like, when they were new, they were driven across country. You can still do it. Just have some fun with them. So I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there and we'll see you next video.